I literally just pulled over on the side of the road to check all this out. As you can see, abandoned car. There's a lot of things around here in the woods. I've been taking pictures, but I thought I'd film what I'm seeing. I don't know if I'll post it because it's going to be short, maybe, but right in front of me, something interesting. It looks like a camper, but it also looks like like a U-Haul kind of truck. North America van lines. Oh my God, look what's inside this thing. Is it a camper? Did somebody live in here? Because that's an oven? Is that a deep fryer? <laughs> Sanka. Ah. Oh, look at this old fashioned crispy crunchy planters peanuts jar. Oh my god, it's in mint condition and it's so vintage. I love it. Same with this Sanka and. Ew, oh, spaghetti sauce. Franco-American. Franco-American. That was their jingle. <laughs> Roughly. Oh, and then... Catherine, somebody's golden crumbles. They look disgusting. This is so weird. I don't know what I did, but I cut my nose. Now I'm Rudolph. I have a red dot. Anyway, so ignore that. The cool thing about where I am right now is that there's no, no trespassing signs. It, the, the road is over there, but this stuff is just, look, look at that. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> That's awesome. It's all just left here and it doesn't say private property. It doesn't say any of that. So I think I'm free to roam around and take really cool pictures. I didn't even bring my selfie stick. That's why my hand is suddenly in the picture, but I wasn't intending on exploring today. So I don't have my selfie stick, so I'm holding the camera out. But anyway, let me show you something cool. It's that Toyota Corolla over there, but let me show you why it's cool. Okay, so this Corolla right here is not only just cool anyway, because it's a very vintage Corolla, but inside, I saw all this earlier. When I got here, I just took pictures and I wasn't planning on filming, but check this out. First of all, we have a Yogi Bear air freshener. Awesome. Then we have classic glass Mountain Dew and very fine papaya peach. And then, this is the best part, a genuine styrofoam Big Mac container. That's styrofoam. They stopped making it out of styrofoam because it doesn't biodegrade. And here's proof right here that it does not biodegrade. That's so awesome. There's probably tons of stuff under those leaves, but I don't feel like rummaging. Huh. 
I don't even know what's going on right here. This is what caught my attention as I was driving by. I thought it was half of a house, but it's a truck. Like there's the truck bed in back of it. But it, see, it looks like a motorhome. That's my car right there, so <laughs> in case you're wondering. Oh, it is a mobile home. That's not a truck bed. That's how you make the mobile home mobile. I forgot, they, they are on wheels, mobile homes. And I guess somebody just was transporting it and they decided to just dump it here. And for some reason, half of it has been ripped off. I don't know the explanation for that, but that's what it is. A very much abandoned half of a mobile home. <laughs> it got real cold real fast. Look at that. Look at that wall. And there's a bathtub. It's a tiny little bathtub. It's a tiny mobile home. I mean, they all are tiny, but this one's exceptionally tiny. And then there's this Volkswagen and I shut the door because I took a bunch of selfies. Well, I took a bunch of pictures of the car and the door was open and I didn't want the door open. So I shut it and locked myself out because now I can't open any of the four doors. Even though this window is busted out, I'm not going to crawl through that, but I wanted to get a picture of the dashboard panel. Well, I guess I can get one from here. That's good enough. That's a good picture right there. That's pretty cool. With the cobwebs right there and the moldy seats and the moss growing out of the back panel. <laughs> and then there's this oven for reasons unknown. It's a Magic Chef oven. I don't know why it's there. And then there's that. I think that's a well. Let's find out. I didn't look earlier. No, okay, good. And there's no bodies in it. This looks like a shower stall. I think that's what it was. But there's no reason why this stuff is here. And then there's other assorted junk. That's the bucket I use to take my selfie. <laughs> Dead bodies. I know it. Nope, not empty. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited. So that's where all that stuff was. And I decided to start walking to see if there's anything else. And do you see it? There are two insanely creepy looking vintage trucks. Oh, there's more. There's a whole bunch of more stuff over here. And this is better because it's deeper in the woods, away from the roads. Those trucks look so creepy, yet so vintage. They look haunting. Do you see them? See? And there's another one over there. Oh my God. This random truck graveyard was so awesomely unexpected. Look at that. And there's more of that one way over there behind the blue one. Looks wicked old. 
And this one's wicked old. They're all wicked old. What is this? It's a Chevy Apache. Does anyone even remember the Chevy Apache? Leave a comment if you're old enough to remember the Chevy Apache. Oh wait, I'm sorry, the Apache 10. Apache Chief, E, Nay, Chuck. I remember that, just not. The Chevy Apache 10. <laughs> Look at this. What is going on in these woods? I'm so entertained right now because today was just gonna be a boring freezing cold day. I don't know if you can tell my hands are numb. It feels like the other day I was complaining about the heat and I was sweating my ass off on my explorers. Now I'm freezing my ass off. I'm never satisfied. Again, with the gas can right there, I saw another car. You have the gas cap, like where you put the gas. Here. If you get sideswiped, you blow up. Here, in the driver's seat. Your, your, your back is up against the gas tank. Where is the gas tank? Oh, there it is. <laughs> right there. Look at that. You get sideswiped in this old thing. Well, it's a tank. But... One false move, and that blows up, and you go shooting out the front. Right? Am I wrong? That that's a foolish spot for you to fill the gas? And look, it really is for the gas. Probably toxic 1950s gas is now leaking out. What is that? What symbol is that? Somebody tell me. I don't know. another Chevy oh and now the passenger can blow up this one's on the passenger side oh look at that control panel it's so retro I love it I think this one is just a Chevy truck I don't think it has a name It's not an Apache. Let's see. Oh wait, maybe the um, name, maybe the name is on the other side of this. Let's get a better look. The vintage controls, gasoline, battery, oil press. What is oil press? Somebody tell me what oil press means. I know nothing about cars, except that I love vintage ones with crank windows. It's so cold that my battery is draining at lightning speed and it can't drain yet. We still have three cars left. I love this blue color. That's like Doctor Who TARDIS blue. That's what this is. It is TARDIS blue. I'm not even a Doctor Who fan, but I have a million friends who are. So that's what this reminds me of. All their TARDIS collectibles. Oh, what kind is it? Chevy. Oh, it's an Apache 4. Now we have an Apache 4. Kind of like the Apache 4 better than the Apache 10. Look at me being a snob about vintage cars that don't exist anymore. I got to get the proverbial front end shot for Instagram. How awesome do old cars look in photographs? I love this shot. I even love it when other people post shots like this.
Okay, I gotta film this quick. Not really quick, but I need enough battery life to show you this and that and take more selfies. <laughs> and this is a Chevy Thriftmaster. Oh my God, that's the worst name for a car. A Chevy Thriftmaster? That's like you're poor and you can't afford anything, so you get the Thriftmaster. That's like, I love going to thrift stores and I'm really good at finding stuff at them, so I'm a Thriftmaster. <laughs> that is the dumbest name for a car I've ever seen in my life. Nobody's cool in a Thriftmaster. It means, hi, I paid like nothing for this really cool car, but it's the Thriftmaster. As it drives by, oh. Mr. Johnson got a thrift master. Times must be tough over at the Johnson house. <laughs> oh my God, it's a Studebaker. It's a fucking Studebaker. Are you kidding me? You know what's funny? When I saw, I saw that one from a distance, I was like, I was literally gonna say, oh my God, the cars over there look really vintage, like a friggin' Studebaker or something. I say Baker, Studebaker, Studebaker. Okay, anyway, I'm all excited. That's a Studebaker. That's awesome. Look at it, look at this. Why is this out in the woods? This should be treasured and restored because it's a Studebaker. It's beautiful. Look at it, everyone. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Oh, I love it. Look at this, I can magically turn it into a car named after me. See what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Oh my God, you guys. The key is in the Studebaker. The key is stuck in the Studebaker, but that's the key. Look, that's a Studebaker key. Can't see how many miles. I'll have to look at that later. That's better. 56,000. Why is the key stuck? No wonder it's still here. It won't come out. Okay, does anyone know what this is? I mean, obviously that's a light, but why is there this little lever here? Okay, so now it's nighttime and I'm in these woods because I wasted a bunch of time looking around the cars, taking pictures, getting my battery and then I started looking around more in the woods, but it got dark because we turned the clocks back yesterday. So it's cold, which sucks, and it's dark. So I can't find anything anyway. I think I'm going to come back here though, because this was pretty cool. But because it's dark out now and I'm in the middle of the woods, even though the road's way over there, I'm going to sign off now. So that was a quick explore with cool things like a Studebaker. And now I'm going to go. Bye.